Hello, my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist, an intuitive messenger, and an author. And today's reading is for Life Path 4. This is for Life Path 4 for February 2004. 2004. 2024, excuse me. Okay, so this reading is for Life Path number 4, February 2024. Very interesting. All those fours got me tripped up. Okay, so I pulled the cards and Spirit has confirmed I have the right card. So let's talk about what you have going on for this month for, for February 2024. Okay. Ah, okay. So you're beginning the month with some heartbreak. Your heart is feeling very bruised some very wounded. And there also could be some grief going on for you. And so um, whatever you're going through for, I'm really sorry. Um, that you're having whatever difficulties you may be experiencing. So you're opening the month, um, kind of bringing in some energy of heartbreak, grief, and um, some losses. So I am so sorry about that. And in the obstacle position, uh, okay, it's about a relationship. And, and so the first, the fir your first card is, excuse me, the three of the three of swords. Oh my God, I just got very hot. The energy is like coming in. Um, it's the three of swords. And the next card is the lovers. And so something has happened for you um, regarding um, some broken connections. Um, that could be, yeah, I'm getting relationships. Okay. So it could be some broken connections regarding relationships. So it seems like you're going through a painful time here. So I am sorry about that. I know that can be really, really hard. And then, but it's going to bring a transformation. This is the second time. This card was just in the reading for number three. Okay. So this is bringing about transformation. Very, very interesting. Uh, yes. And then we have the Knight of Cups coming forward. The Knight is bringing new messages, new, mo new, new offers. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like is offering something, a new emotional experience. Mm. And then the outcome card. Mm, we have the five of pentacles. Okay, so we're going to see what's happening here. And I may pull some clarifiers because we don't want to leave it on the five of pentacles. Can you be like, really? My outcome card is the five of pentacles? No, we're going to take care of it. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. So, so these are some interesting cards. Okay, so you have out of five cards, you have two major arcana, and then you have some of the more intense cards in the tarot. So what are we going to say here? We're saying that you're beginning that this is going to, I'm just going to keep it real. This is going to be a heavy month for you. Okay. It's going to be a heavy month for some of you, not all of you. It's going to be a heavy month for some of you and that some things will have happened with relationships and where the relationship is no longer viable. You're feeling, you may be feeling heartbroken and it's just really going to make you feel like really it's really hurt and lost. And I can even feel it in my own heart as I'm saying that. So again, I'm really, really sorry if anybody here is going through something like that. I know it's tough, but you can get through it, okay? We've all been there. Friendships, romantic relationships, whatever the case may be. May be. I feel like it's more of a personal, intimate relationship, um, but it's going to be okay, okay? It's it, it. This is because this all happens to bring about transformation because there's a transformation you, you're going to need to go through right now, okay? There is a transformation that is afoot, a transformation you're going to need to go through so that you can take yourself into a new emotional state. Um, because when the Knight of Cups comes, you know, it's coming bearing gifts. It's coming with a sweet message. It's coming with um, a softer, a softer, gentler emotional experience. Now, for the Five of Pentacles, that is the poverty card. That's the card that mm, something's not right you're kind of feeling shut out in the cold. Um, is that what that's really about? Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be a time of deep transition for you. For, for uh, You are gonna be feeling a little shut out in some spaces and places that were normally places of um, refuge for you. But I really think, like, I don't wanna make this all gloomy, but I feel like because we're going through such a space of deep transformation on the earth, that this is just what a lot of people are experiencing. A lot of people are experiencing like a deep form of transformation in a lot of different ways. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So 
We're opening. This is the energy you're bringing into the first into the month in February 2024. Um, for you're bringing in the energy of you know nursing a broken heart. You're feeling very bruised. It's about a relationship, or maybe the absence of that relationship. Now, I'm so sorry. It's going to be okay. And then um, you're going through a transformation. You're going to have to, you know, die to some things that were formerly you knew about yourself, and you're going to have to rebirth yourself in a new way. I don't mind getting a death card in the reading because I know that death means brings about transformation and rebirth. And so you're going to go through a period of rebirth, which for me is always a good thing because, you know, we have to go through that. We can't stay stagnant and we can't stay the same. In the other reading I just did for three, they got the wheel of fortune. We can't stay the same. We have to go through these things, you know? But we have to equip ourselves. We have to equip ourselves so that as we're going through these processes, we're not, you know, struggling and devastated and feeling like out in the wilderness and things like that. Because new things are going to open up for you. There is going to be an emotional opening for you. Think new things are going to be coming forward for you emotionally, but you have to be ready to receive them because you don't want to be, you don't want to. Let's see what we can say about that, about being out in the cold. Sometimes we're out in the cold by our own choices. We'll say this, because a lot of people always say about this card, well, you know, they're like, they're looking all battered and raggedy, but you know, there is a light and, um, you know, they could go inside if they wanted to. And so I want to just reassure you that no matter how um, hurt you're feeling, how at a loss you're feeling about some of the transformations that you're going through and changes that you're going through, you're never completely out in the cold. Even if the relationships that would have in the past been a place of nourishment and support for you are not there, new things can be birthed. New things can come forward. It can be a rebirth in, in this area. So it's going to be really important that even though this is normally a very glum card, it's going to be really important that you know that you're not out of, um, you're not at a loss, that you have the things that you need within you to change your perspective and that you can continue to move forward. Like this, your month of February and the months that, you know, are holding this energy for you for it's, a, it's going to be about moving forward. It's going to be about finding your way forward. And it's hard. I know it's hard when you have heartbreak. I know how hard it is. And the energy can linger and it can be super intense, especially for three to six months for some, for some. But if you are in that energy where that is one of your experiences, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And just go into this energy of rebirth. I know it's painful, but regulate yourself. Do whatever you can to expand your nervous system, um, ground yourself, breathe, do yoga, meditate, um, maybe take some homeopathic herbs to calm yourself down. I'm not talking about marijuana. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about actual herbs. That is an herb, a special type of herb. I'm talking about other things that can help you to calm and regulate your nervous system during this time. Okay. Because you want to make sure that you have the space and the wherewithal to accept the new emotional openings that can take place. And then remember, you are never out of ideas. You are never out of, um, you're never out of your power. Even if things may not be the way you want them to be or would you, what you would have preferred, you're never out of your power. Always, always, always step into your power and hold on to it and nourish it and stay connected to it. Okay. This is kind of, an, this is unexpected for, I got all hot mm. doing this. So it's a lot of energy here. Let's see what else. Anything else you have? Mm. So Spirit is saying that where there is heartbreak, there is also a heart opening. Where there is heartbreak, there is a heart opening. And don't be afraid to open your heart. Whatever happens, whatever losses you receive, you've experienced, those things came out of your life for a reason because it was time to let them go. Hmm. And Spirit is saying sometimes things will be taken from you because the opportunity you had to release them, you may not have been 
wanting to do. I'll say it very gently. I'll say it that way. I'll say it that way. I'll say like you may have had an opportunity to release it in a different way and you didn't. So sometimes things are taken from you. And that's kind of the pain and that can be that abrupt feeling you receive. But regardless of whether it came because you let it go or because it was taken from you, because, you know, I'm speaking to whoever this resonates with, it's all about transformation. It's all about rebirth. It's all about transformation. And it's all about also spirit is saying transparency, transparency within yourself so that you can see yourself clearer in a newer way. Yeah, spirit is saying it's not just about rebirth and transformation. Yes, that too, but it's also about transparency, but transparency within yourself. Sometimes our relationships, we use them to hide behind and so that we don't really get a clear picture of ourselves. And sometimes that's why, excuse me, that's sometimes that's why things are removed from us or we're removed from certain things, however it flows for you. And so it's, it's what I'm being shown is like, like a transparent glass. Like it's like now you can stand in front of like a glass and now you can fully see your own reflection. It's not a mirror. It's kind of like a, a clear glass. And on the other side is you. Like you're on one side and you're on the other side and you can kind of like see yourself. It's like you can finally face yourself and you can see what you are. And you need that transparency. You need that transparency. You need that vulnerability in order to step into a new way of being. You need that transparency. You need that vulnerability, especially with yourself. And this makes sense because force can be kind of rigid. You know, um, y'all can be very about the rules and the regulations and what I need, need to do to move forward and things like that and be very focused on the structure of a situation um, and things like that. But, you know, sometimes things have to be removed in, in order for us to see ourselves in a deeper, purer way. That's what spirit is saying. Sometimes things have to be removed in order to see ourselves in a deeper, purer way. And this is why this is at the center of the reading for, because it's time for you to see yourself in a deeper, purer way. And so that you can form new emotional connections with yourself. You can form new, growing, mature connections with yourself. And that you can remember that you're never, even though this card looks very glum, you're never at a loss. You're never at a loss. You're, you're, you always have ops. You always have options and access to some the things that exist deep within you. If you're just staying in your normal four energy of like, you know, work, 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 the rules, the flow of an order of things. When you're dealing with heartbreak and pain, that'll mess you up because you're trying to break, bring the tangible to the, the intangible. And so spirit is saying you have to transform yourself and be transparent with yourself and really see yourself to step into and grow in your emotional state. This card for me is about you growing in your emotional state and then realizing you have other options. Yes, you may feel very impoverished right now. You may feel very lonely and be feeling feelings of loss, but you have to realize that you are not without options that but your options are going to come from the deep transformation that you do inside you through the through the death card through that rebirth and trans transformation and that being that being fully transparent with yourself those are where your options are going to come your options are not going to come from the physical they're going to come from a, just a, a a lovelier place a deeper place um within you it's not always a pretty process but it can really have its own beauty especially in uh connecting with your own vulnerability. Spirit is just saying transparency is going to be key for you here. Transparency is going to be key. And you have to be transparent with yourself. Yeah. And just take real tender care of yourself and don't worry if nobody understands what you're going through and that you're feeling kind of, you know, bereft right now. It's going to be okay. You're going to have to just work this energy, though. okay? You're going to have to be very proactive. You're going to have to work this energy. You have to work this energy because if you don't work this energy, this energy is going to work you. And this is what happens. People are, get very ungrounded when they go through loss, and they just 
you know, fall down, go tumbling down the hill and they're just like, oh, laid out and they're like, oh my God, what's happened? Yes, I understand, but you have to get up and get up doesn't mean suppress or invalidate or cover up or pretend that nothing, nothing difficult happened, but it means you work that energy or that energy is going to work you. So working that energy means being proactive, taking care of yourself, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, grounding yourself, breathing, meditating, exercising, setting boundaries. You work that energy. You don't let that energy work you because this is some intense energy. And so you're going to have to step it up for, um, get out of your head and really be transparent with yourself and you work that energy. I'm getting that very, very strongly for you for, if you don't work this energy, this energy is going to work you over and you're going to be, you're going to be like, oh my God, what is happening? Am I dying? Am I dying? No, you're not dying, but you're growing and we can have growing pains. And this is going to be a period where you're going to have growing pains, but you work that energy. You don't let that energy work you. Cause if you let that energy work you, you're not going to be happy. But if you work that energy, you're going to feel like, you know, you have options. You're not disempowered. You're going to feel the necessary growth that you need to have from this situation. That was intense. Wow. Is there anything else? Oops. Oh, spirit says no. Guess I got the message across. Okay. So what are we going to call this? I got to think of it. This was, this was a doozy. I'm going to think of a name for this one. Oh, angels, angels, angels. Calling in the angels. Angels, please come. Give for a message. As much as that they need, that'll bring solace to them. Guidance for all those who may be in intense energy in February 2024. For, please bring a message for number five path four. Bring your comfort and your guidance during this time. Like, I just got this card for the last reading. This is so bizarre. Oh my God. There's 44 cards in this deck. You see this, how thick this deck is? I pulled the same card that I pulled for three. Mm, okay. It's about healthy choices, okay? Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions. So, right, it's going to, it's again about what I said about you work that energy or is that energy is going to work you, you have to make sure that you are state, you balance yourself. All the things I just said that you need to do to balance yourself. This is, this is getting ready to tell you to do the same thing. Okay. I read this in number three. It's going to tell you to do the same thing. Like find your balance. That's going to help you get through this and take yourself, take care of yourself. Like don't work. Don't let these, these this energy work you. Okay. Your angels are encouraging you to make healthy choices for your body, mind, and soul. Looking after your soul energy is one step, but having a balanced diet and healthy relationships will also contribute to your spiritual growth. You are a pillar of strength. Ensure you look after your inner life. Expanded interpretation. Angels are able to send us much clearer messages when we are in alignment with the three parts of our being, mind, body, and soul. Choose to have positive, loving, grateful thoughts in the first, is the first step. Looking after your body and what you feel, looking after your body and what you feed it is the second step. And taking care of your soul by checking in with God or your higher power and doing your daily spiritual practices is the final one. These are all healthy choices that will increase your growth. And so, as we just said, this is what you're going to need to do to take care of yourself for. The energy is going to be intense for about three to six months, okay? Um, you know, take care of yourself you know, deepen into yourself, use this as an opportunity to level up. And remember, you work that energy. You don't let that energy work you. And you're not without your options and stay connected to yourself and those options will unfold for you. So I'm wishing you tremendous blessings for, um, for your 2024, for February of 2024 and the three to six months that are ahead. Wishing you blessings, blessings, blessings. And so Thank you so much for, for listening to this reading. Please, please let me know if it resonated. Let me know. I'm very curious to see what happened. It's like, it's like telling a story, but not knowing how the book ended. And so now I'm really curious. I want to know what happened. 
Um, and I want to know how you're doing. So let me know how you're doing. I would really appreciate it. And so I'm wishing you all the best. So my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist, an intuitive messenger, and an author. And if you like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought, what resonated, and any thoughts and feelings that you have about this whole situation. So I'm wishing you all the best for uh, come back and check check back in with me at the end of the month and let me know how things went for you or just how you're doing in general. So you take care. All the blessings to you.